Okay, um, so, uh, I suppose, you know, still in, in terms of, uh, management, um, although not exactly, well, some, somewhat supervision here, but, uh, basically reviewing, uh, some of the stuff that we talked about in, um, personnel security, in, um, security management, uh, and again, you know, this is important to operations, this is how we, uh, note uh, how, how we uh, know what to manage, how to manage in uh, operations. And we've got uh, our basic principles. Um, the separation of duties, which we, we talked about. And the um, principle that the entity performing the action is is not the entity that checks on the action and uh, you know I've talked about the uh, issues of of auditing auditors are not your enemy they are your best friends um, the uh, similarities to uh, the editing process in in writing um, and you simply cannot see the the mistakes that you have made your your mind automatically sort of corrects the errors and so it's you know it's not that you are deliberately um trying to avoid uh noticing what you've done wrong um you just you know genuinely don't see it because you automatically correct it or you uh you know these are the assumptions that you have made with regard to this type of activity and and um what the risks will be and you have addressed the risks as you see them and you have missed some other risks so uh you know here uh is an area uh, that's very important um and uh it it's just you know it's inherent in the human psyche so uh you know make sure that um, you stick to that principle, um, the separation of duties. Um, the uh, rotation of duties. Um, this is, uh, again, something uh, that we talked about in security management. And, and it, I mean, it's a good idea anyways. Um, doing rotation of duties um, making you know people perform other tasks that aren't strictly in in their job um, on occasion uh, broadens not only their understanding of the uh, you know, the, the duties of others, um, so that they can fill in. And that does, you know, provide you with resilience in terms of the enterprise. But also the fact that it broadens their understanding of what the enterprise actually is doing, where their place is, why, why what they are doing is important to the enterprise. And so, these are, uh, well, just this, this principle of, you know, rotation of duties, cross-training. Um, uh, as I say, you know, it builds resilience. Um, it also ensures that people are uh, having, developing a better understanding. Now, of course, you know, if, uh, I've talked about field dependent and field independent, and some field independent people are just going to always see as that as a nuisance because you know it's not their job; uh, they do their job. Okay, fine. You know um, that it does limit their value to the enterprise. Uh, it doesn't eliminate it. Certainly, you know there there are there's room for people who uh, do one job do it consistently and you know that's that's it and you know that's that's fine uh 
they are a piece of the machinery. Um, they're not going to help if anything goes wrong necessarily, but you know they are an important uh, entity when you know while everything is is operating as it should be operating. Uh, so uh, you know no particular problem. There's an awful lot of room for those types of people, um, but uh, you know just be. Be aware that um, if they can't handle the cross training, um, the uh, you know that that does, as I say, you know it, it limits at least their uh, their value, uh, their understanding of what they're doing, and their ability to help others. The uh, um, it's also, when, while we're doing this, we've got an opportunity to review rights and privileges. Um, you know, when we're asking this person to take on an additional task, what um, additional rights and privileges uh, do we need to give them? And in fact, if we don't need to give them any uh, specific rights and privileges that the person who normally performs this task has, uh, then why does that person have those those rights and privileges? You know, is that a, a leftover? Is that um, uh, you know obsolete in terms of our current? stage of operations. Um, so, you know, it, it gives you this chance to examine uh, some of what we're doing and, and uh, to note that, you know, we maybe we aren't operating with least privilege. Maybe, uh, you know, somebody used to have this right and it's just, uh, uh, you know, Descended down through the ages. Uh, ages in computer terms tending to be defined as next quarter. But uh, anyway. Uh, so, you know, be aware of these, of these basic principles. And, and make sure that you are implementing them, examining them, uh, assessing uh, whether what you are doing is following those principles, um, you know, uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, there, you know, there is a reason that they are principles.